going to the game, I'm going to be playing Jungle Aatrox and try out his new legendary skin. In this matchup, we're currently up against Nautilus, and in an Aatrox versus Nautilus, this is kinda even because Nautilus has an advantage when it comes to ganking, crowd control, as well as being a bit more durable. While Aatrox has more DPS, carry potential with the resets, and stronger late game. So it's up to the players on how they're able to utilize their kit, but definitely when it comes to the early game, Nautilus has a huge advantage because his clear speed is so much faster. In this game, I decide to go for a blue start into most likely a full clear because if you look at the enemy lineup, the easiest lane to go for would be this Jin Baron lane. He would obviously be overextended and that is someone that we want to punish. Other lanes are a bit harder with the Vexheimer, Lulu Kaisa. There's not much kill potential, especially with our team also being a bit of uh, farm-centric champions like Vayne, Heimer, and even our Heimer. I have no idea how he died level 2, but it is what it is. When playing Aatrox, the most important thing is to use the sweet spots because most of his DPS will come from there. So if you miss the sweet spot on your first skill, then you're gonna be wasting a lot of damage. This is applicable for both team fights as well as clearing your camps. That's why I always try my best to hit the sweet spot before uh, going for the auto attack. And one tip when clearing with Aatrox is that you could use your third skill as an attack animation reset uh, cancel. So you could go auto third auto, it's gonna be really fast. Oh, I missed my uh, second skill, unfortunate, but yeah. Aatrox early game clear is not the fastest, honestly. It only goes faster once you get your Triforce or Ghost Blade, whichever comes first. But so far, the skin is looking really clean. It doesn't look as big as the previous Aatrox skins. Plus, the animation is pretty nice. I especially like the second skill where it eats the, the champion or the thing that you're hitting. And it's not as visually cluttering as the Shanghai skin, which I think has so much random effects. I generally like the cleaner Aatrox skill so I know if my skill is gonna hit or not. So we go for a full clear because our ganking is not the best as compared to the Snotless is able to punish our Vayne Senna, who is not doing really hot right now. So instead of going for my top camps again, I decided to go for bot side. We want to punish this Jin and help our Mundo get ahead. We have Twin Shadows which should make our ganks faster. But this Nautilus just ganked our mid so I have no choice. Maybe we try to get a counter kill, get the slow off. E flash Q, really clean or Q E flash. We get a kill into the Vex. One for one trade overall and this is what we need when we play Aatrox. Because our build here is burst oriented where we go first strike, ghost blade, triforce. And if we want to play a carry type champion or carry type builds, then we have to get a good early game. Generally, Aatrox has two builds. One is the normal cleaver loser type, but this is the stronger one when it comes to carrying, which is more of the burst type. Because Aatrox, uh, if you're able to get a kill and you have ulti, get an instant reset. And once you get a reset, you pretty much just pop off with all of the healing that you could get. That's why your number one objective when in team fights is always to go for the lowest target enemy or the squishiest so that you could get the reset as soon as possible. Okay, we see that uh, Nautilus is going at the mid lane again. We're ready for the counter gank. I'll just tell my Heimer to place it safe. And we go for the Jin, who's overextended. I have a laser. Get a hit onto him. Uh, Jin flashes my second skill, but all is well. We still get the kill in the end. And look at that. His ulti is not as distracting. The wings are... Honestly, I really like the skin. It's most probably his best skin. Even better than Mecha. Because it's not as distracting. Plus, the effects are also looking very clean. Okay, we go back to base. 25 seconds before the objectives. I'm deciding whether to go for the Dragon or the Herald. But I'm leaning towards the Herald because we have priority in the bot lane. 
plus our vein Senna not doing the best right now. We just want to clear this red buff to see if we could go for any objective. And with the objectives about to spawn, yep, I go for the Herald instead. Much safer because if we go all in on the Dragon and we lose, the game is pretty much done and we would be just so far behind. Mid lane also doesn't have priority with the Heimer dying twice. So I'm not confident at all that we would win the objective. We get the Herald instead. And Herald is really good if you are a carry, but yeah. I old flash here because I know that Jin flashed earlier, so there's no ways of escaping. And with that, we get an easy kill. But interestingly enough, if you look at what happened on the other side, they haven't gotten the dragon yet. So I think my Heimer Vayne just did something really good. Even though they traded their own lives for it. Uh, knowing that the tower is gonna go down at the bottom side, since no one is there, I decide to put the Herald in the mid instead. As I was say, like, saying a while ago, uh, the reason why Herald is really good on carry champions is because this allows you to get your gold faster, which would translate into items. And once you're able to get at least two items on Aatrox, your burst will be so strong. And if you couple that with a Mortal Third or even a Sundered Sky, depending on what you want to go for, Aatrox uh, may look like a DPS champion, but he's actually a burst champion with this build. Okay. We turn on the dragon because there are junglers on the front. We have to go away though because we got a bit chunk. With the jungler down, I smite the blue buff to get a bit of HP. But this is a bit risky since I have no smite already. We have to last hit, get it with our first kill. Sweet spot 200 damage. And overall, uh, we're able to get the double objective, which is pretty huge. Infernal Soul also is really good. Giving us even more damage. Okay, I'm waiting for the Kai'Sa to ult here before we go for an all-in. But since we just played it safe, we'll just go back, get our Ghost Blade. First major item power spike. Making our ganks a lot faster and uh, making ourselves mobile as well. The biggest weakness of Aatrox is burst and crowd control because... You can't uh, lifesteal if you are stunned, basically. So I have no idea our Senna died. So I'm gonna do a bit of a damage check here, but I have no idea how this Kaisa is dealing so much damage. I got surprised myself, but if you look at her items, Lulu, Ardent Up, Storm Razor, plus Lifesteal Boots. And yeah, this is one of the weaknesses of uh, damage Aatrox is that you sacrifice a bit of your survivability and you're super dependent on trying to take down an enemy. Meanwhile, this Kai'Sa just casually deleting our entire team. Thank God this Mundo finally got the kill. Vex does a good job blocking the Lulu. If you look at the minimap, he's still alive and most likely our Mundo's gonna die. Not the best start for our team. Even though we got double objectives, it feels like we lost. Typical solo queue things, I guess. But yeah, Jin rotating on the mid lane. Remove the ward. So, in terms of their ability, Aatrox is very weak at this stage or very squishy. But once we get our Triforce, things should be so much better both for uh, DPS as well as durability and mobility. We continue our farm. Q3 also looks super clean. So... What I'm thinking right now is, how do I take down this Kai'Sa? But seeing that there's a Vex Lulu, there's no way I would be able to burst her. I'll just pray that this Heimer would be able to uh, hold the lane and we'll just go for the other lanes instead. But with this Kai'Sa showing, going with the Ghost, responding to her team, yeah, I just go away. No way that we win that fight with, I think, five members showing up there. Okay, Lulu is at the front. So this means that the Kai'Sa is there. There's no way that their support will go in the front without their carry. Luckily, I didn't take the bait. Because it was really tempting to take down the Lulu. But in the end, if you use a bit of logic, you would know that she wouldn't do those random stuff for no reason. Okay, meanwhile, I have no idea that our Heimer died again. Probably got bursted by the Vex. We use Papa ult. Try to get a kill, but as soon as he flashes... 
Uh, we have to go out, but this Nautilus, yeah. We get punished. Nautilus Kaisa combo, pretty good. You cannot dodge the not ult. I tried my best to dodge it, but it's a freaking point and click, so no, no counterplay. And yeah. As I said, crowd control is very annoying for Aatrox because this would deny your DPS. And yeah, Kaisa is 10, 1, and 3 to 10k gold. Pretty hard game. The last enemy champion that we would want to get fat is their marksman. Especially since Lulu is also there with uh, the Kaisa to protect and give more damage. What I'm thinking right now is look for a flank to get the squishy targets. But if you look at the positioning of my team, no one is ready to contest. Vex though out of position, knowing that the knot is what? Uses flash. We wanna get a kill. And once we get the reset onto the Vex, we'll just uh, look for the stragglers like this Jin. Take down the Jin. Final boss Kaisa. I'm not that confident that we could 1v1 her yet. Because she already has her empowered third. Plus, there's also a Lulu to provide more crowd control and survivability. Oh, okay, second dragon is up. Honestly, we could give it. I could go for the bottom tower. But seeing that the Jin is still dead, I think otherwise, maybe we could contest it if we get a good stun onto the uh, Kai'Sa. Then the game is as good as one. Or the team fight rather. Okay, Heimer's still dead though. So this is not the best. I don't know why I'm forcing. So I'll just look for the steal instead. Pop my ulti Q smite. Unable to take it. Nautilus flashes out and thank god they did not go for a fight there because yeah I wasn't confident that he would win. Oh with that's uh with everything that's happened, we see Jin pushing bot again. I wanna catch the Jin while he's farming because if you look at their lineup, he's the only one that we could easily kill. Vex has fear for kiting, Kai has Lulu, and the volley bear is just a tanky boy, I guess. Yeah. Even our even our Mundo was able to withstand the Kaisa a while ago. Now she's just too fed. Game is not looking too good, but there are still ways to win. We just need to be able to take down the Kaisa and wait for her to make a mistake. Okay, Baron's up. They about helping, but seeing that their positioning, they just overextended or giga overextended bot lane. So now, uh, I have no plans of contesting the Baron. What I'll do instead is get this uh, tower so that we could get plates and funnel a bit more gold into our team. This is much better than trying to contest Baron and just dying in the end since their entire team is just, just there waiting for me to try to go for a steal. Meanwhile, we also clear the enemy jungle. I assume that they're gonna take my jungle, so at least it's an overall trade. And yeah, take us some wards. Continue with our clear. I really, really want to have my mortal reminder before the next fight. This would help me uh, destroy the Nautilus even faster and burst the enemy carries easier as well. Okay, mortal is up. This is one of our biggest power spikes right now with these three items by Stasis just for safety. The only thing that we need to do is to look for a good uh, angle to set up an ambush for them. They have Baron though so I'm just waiting for them to expend it first. But if you look at the lanes, I saw that Jin was recalling top and someone else was at the bottom. Yep, Vex is at bot. So I have the uh, knowledge that these are only three people right now. Even if Mundo shows up, doesn't matter. And as soon as I see the poke on the Kaisa, half HP, Q flash auto, and look at that damage. The marksman just disappeared, and without the Kaisa, all of their gold lead is gone. Vex even misses ulti. We could go for the kill onto that champion, but the opponents decide to go back to base instead. It's also a win for us because Mundo is able to farm for free. Takes down the bot tier 1 tower. And yeah. Even though they have a Vayne Kai's on the other side, our scaling is not that bad. Because we have our own Vayne, Senna, Heimer, Mundo. 
And if I'm not mistaken, that's almost everyone or if not everyone's favorite champion. We continue our farm while looking at the map. Mundo's being chased apart. Yonedo spotted by himself. He flashes out. But the weirdest thing here is that yeah, our Mundo decided to go back by himself. Not respecting the enemy that they already have their items to be able to shred the Mundo. If a while ago they were having a hard time, now it's much easier than them. And this Kaisa just popping off, getting another kill. Vex ulti connects, and in the end, it's a 4 4 1 exchange. I'm still here to defend to prevent them from getting any of the secrets. Excuse me. Get a clean clear, but the next one would be very deadly if they're able to take the Baron once again. 15 seconds though, so does this mean that Elder's about to spawn? And look at that, crit 1.1k. Critical onto the, uh, what do you call this? Merchant. Or NPC. Oh, okay, Dragon is now up. Not that it's important because there's no soul. If I could have uh, stolen the second Dragon a while ago, we would be at match point. I want to start this because their Jin is still down, so it's currently a 4v5. My ulti will be also up soon. Once they show, we could go for a turn. Just waiting for a crowd control to connect. Vex ult hits. We smite the dragon, see that their Kaisa goes in. But we get crowd control with the Nautilus, so we use our stasis to buy a bit of time. We go for the Nautilus instead because he's 1 HP. And look at my damage! I'm just... Yeah, this Vex died in 2, two hits, or 3 hits rather. 2 Qs, 1 auto. And looking at the backside, Kaisa Lulu still alive. We don't get the reset on the Lulu. And with that, I try to Q flash on the Kaisa. Ah, uh, didn't reach. If I got the Lulu kill, my ulti would have reset and most probably we also get the Kaisa. But in the end, thank God for this Dr. Mundo. <sighs> Thornmail, Frozen Heart. Yeah, even though our, their Kaisa is so fed, she doesn't have uh, strong ways to take down the Mundo without the Lulu. So, this was a 5v4 by the way. And it was a 4 4 4 exchange. Yeah, the Jin just respawned. At least we got the dragon. And what we want to do is start the baron as soon as it spawns or go for the dragon. It depends. Because the Kaisa is still down for 15 seconds. And basically, all of their gold is on her. Because everyone else almost zero damage. Well, Jin has damage, but super squishy. It's just the Kaisa 19 3, by the way. More than one kill a minute. So, yeah. My entire team rushes towards the Baron. We could go for the turn in case they arrive. Jin uses the ulti, which is good. And now we start the Baron. Elder still not yet up. But as soon as this Nautilus shows up, we have to go for the turn. It's too slow. If we take down their jungler, that would be huge. Try to get the reset. He flashes away. Not the best, but with this Kai'Sa dashing in, maybe we could take her down. I'm missing all of my Qs, by the way. Yeah. I cannot. I'm trying to reach her. So I give up. You know what? You guys can handle it. We'll help the backside instead. I'm surprised Heimer is able to get a double. We pull down the Vex. Yeah, Heimer with the flash W. And honestly, I have no idea how we won that. Mundo does a great job zoning away the Kaisa. And with this, this is a 3v2 without the jungler. So we really want to start this Elder. Or try to bait the Kaisa. She has no more crown. I just lifesteal a bit. That's why I'm not starting it yet. And now, uh, we go for the start. Look for the turn of the Kaisa. But yeah, she's kiting really well. So what I'm doing here instead is that, you know what? Let's just YOLO this Elder. If a Mundo dies, it is what it is. Before they respawn, we're on a limited time here. And once we get the Elder, excuse me. Uh, we had to sacrifice our Mundo for it. So we want to play safe. Oh my god, this Heimer almost died. So we have the Elder now. All we need to do is wait for the Mundo to respawn. And then we could just go for the Baron and most probably win the game from there. On the other end, since they know that our Mundo is still down, high chance that they're gonna start it. Never mind, their Jin just threw. Now it's a 4v4 with us having Elder. We're the ones who have the capacity to start it now. Since Mundo's gonna be up pretty soon. 
So what we're doing is that we're starting the Baron and then we're just gonna go for the turns like a while ago. Yep, Nautilus goes for the uh, Vein. Oh, look at that. Q, 1k damage. The Vex disappeared. Go for the Knot. We have Elder. Yep. He gets popped. We get a reset. Heimer is doing a good job buying a lot of time. And look at what you do here. Dash, Flash, Auto. <laughs> and the Kai'Sa disappears. That's how strong Aatrox is with the, all of these AD items plus the Elder. With uh, We have a 25% chance of getting a 1k crit if the Mortal procs. And with this, we don't even need the Baron right now. Two members are up, but they probably won't be able to defend this. Lulu, Jin, not that scary. Wanna auto attack the Lulu. 1.2k, won the lottery. Go for the Jin, he flashes away. But you know what? We'll just go for the end and. Whew. What a game! That was very interesting. But in the end, we're able to secure the win. We get MVP with the 13 3 and 3 scoreline. Props to the Mundo for tanking a lot of DPS from the Kaisa. 21k gold. Look at that. They had a 6k gold lead until that throw. 32k damage dealt. And yeah, uh, AD Aatrox is super strong. As long as you're able to hit the squishies, you pretty much just one or two hit them. Aside from that, the skin looks pretty clean. Definitely worth it if you're an Aatrox main. And with that, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and peace out. Ciao, ciao. Bye.